Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Wow, it's been, it's been a day. It's not been a bad day. It's just been a day. Uh, the day was fine. Work was fine. No issues with that. But evidently, driving home seems to be an issue with certain people. I don't know who the people are. I have no idea if it was an accident. You know, I pray that everyone made it home safely. I have no idea. I don't know. 10 miles, the road was backed up. It's the second day in a row my commute home has taken me over double. So yeah, little frazzled. I know that's not yarn and everything related, but it does make me quite exhausted. So when I come home, um, after being exhausted and everything for that, right? I mean, it's not even being fun exhausted. Like I said, work was fine. Everything else was fine. No issues. And then you get exhausted for the hour plus drive home. If you're not used to that, that's draining, right? If that's your normal commute, sorry. You know? But anyway, so I had that going on and came home, made some wonderful food for dinner, and then sat down and was like, I'm going to make some stuff. I'm going to work on my projects. I'm going to write in my notebook. Like two days in a row, I'm going to write stuff in my notebook as soon as I do it. Yeah, I was all excited. And I grabbed my yellow yarn that I am working on, you know, the, the companion to this ring, right? I've shown it a bunch. I just, it's crazy. But I grabbed that. And I started working with that. And it's funny because it matches my fingernails right now. No, they're not painted. I was just cooking and using turmeric. <laughs> so they're stained. Yeah. So uh, I grabbed that and I started to work on that shawl that I started, that Laura shawl by Lily Go. And, you know, I had gotten, there are seven, look at that. There are seven rings to this. I mean, seven balls in this ring. This ring's 100 grams. It's the same as a regular 100 gram uh, skein of fingering wet yarn. They just had some insane marketing that made people who buy this say, yes, I would love to weave in 14 ends for that 100 grams. Please let me do it, right? So that's what that is. So I'm making both of those into that shawl. And last time I showed it, I was on ball number three. I know it's growing. Well, I finished ball number five. How exciting. Well, yeah. I uh, I got a little, uh, as I said, I got a little cocky and, and stopped reading the pattern. You know where I'm going with this? Yeah, you do. And it's not that I necessarily did something wrong. I was just making it larger than I had the yarn for. Remember, this one has multiple sizes to it and you can make whatever. Anyway, I was not going to have enough yarn in the trajectory because I kept increasing. Oh yeah, it's increasing. And I was not going to have enough yarn. I was on ball five. And remember, I have 14 balls. It's like, oh yeah, it's like this wide. It's like that wide. That's no. I I can't just make it double that wide. What is that? That's that's not a shawl. I don't know what that is, but it won't work. So I had to pull it out to where I was when I left the class. Yes, I had to go that far. Oh, I thought, okay, I pulled up ball five. I got it all wound up and everything. And I got all excited and everything. It's like, yes, I'm good. I'm good. I got it. Yeah. And then I had to look at the pattern. Am I there? Can I, can I do the new things? Cause it's like the different shape edging and things like that. Right? No, I had to pull out ball four and then ball three. <sighs> I'm not going to show it today. I just, after today, I no, no. So I set that down. Um, hopefully by Monday's video where it's like, Hey, here I am. It's Monday. This is all the stuff that I've worked on. Hopefully I will get it back worked up to where I'm back to ball five. I don't know why I want to be a ball five, but whatever I do, I just, no rhyme or reason, just nothing. Right. So, oh yeah, that's why I was thinking if I had got it up to ball five, cause I was already on ball three, then I could do three of these little balls a week and have it done in three more weeks and it'd be done right just you know and not stress and still be able to work on other things i could do three of these little balls a week yeah well after that mistake i set it down i'm like i just i you know i ripped it all out i was good but i'm like i don't want to play with it right now but i did want to finish something i want to work on something you know i'm like what have i even done this month right how many projects i just uploaded yesterday everything i did in may i did eight projects i finished eight it doesn't mean I just did it. I mean, obviously I worked on other things, but 
those were things that got completed. Now the completed could be sewing it together. It could be putting on the last three, three or four rounds. And I did the majority of it a previous month. That doesn't matter. It's not done until it's done, right? So I got eight things done. And, you know, I'm looking at it. I'm like, what have I done for June? I don't know. We're, we're like at the end of June. We've only got a few more days of June left. And I'm over here going, uh, what have I done? I, I've not, I've not done a bunch. So yeah, actually, yeah, I gotta, I gotta move on. I got it. One, two, three, four, five. I've done five things. I've finished five things. Okay. I had just made that comment about May being, oh, I, you know, I talk a big game. Let's put it that way. I've been talking some smack about how much stuff I get done. I don't think I'm liking keeping track. I mean, I am, but I'm kind of getting smacked in the face with reality that maybe I talk more than I actually work, right? With my knitting and crocheting. Maybe, maybe I'm just blah, blah, blah. I make a lot. I make a lot. I make a lot. And I don't really make a lot. I just play with the yarn a lot and I dream about the making. And maybe it's in my sleep I'm making a lot more or maybe I'm just making big projects. I'm making excuses now. So uh, faced with my defeat, so to speak, today worth working on my shawl, I'm like, I want to do something. I want to finish something. And I was looking at my stuff and I'm like, I have got to take pictures or take screen grabs, whatever, and send them to Lori for the June Mystery Yarn Challenge. Otherwise, I won't be entered into the random drawing. Well, I want to be entered in the random drawing. I did not do all the projects. She has this that woman's got some serious yarn and she is not afraid to share it. Okay. So she had rules for June. She's got rules for July. If you're not signed up for July and you're interested, go check her out. Send her an email. I want to play. Watch her videos. Man, I'm telling you, it's great. So she had a list in June. She's also got a list in July. And if you made all of, you know, she's got three or four creators or whatever, you know, if you made all of a certain list, you automatically got a yarn prize. She even put up a short where she showed 11 bags where people did that, right? 11 bags. And she sent out for June, uh, you know, in, in this, this box, she sent out Christmas yarn because July is Christmas in July. That's what she's doing. So she not only did that, if you made all this stuff in June, I didn't, I, I didn't. Um, you automatically got a prize. Well, I don't automatically get a prize because I didn't do all the stuff, but I do get some shots at it, right? So we've got uh, the the two projects that I already did. And then today, because I was like, oh, wait, I'm, I'm just feeling, you know, I need, I need some finishing. I need some finishing. So one of the projects that she had linked to was a little knit chick basket. Look at this. Look. So I did it. So this one I did on size fives, it's a worsted weight yarn on size five knitting needles and sewed that up. And it has a fabric square for the beak and I didn't have that, so I just crocheted on a beak. Um, it looks a little aggressive, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like it'll bite you, but uh, there. And then I did French knots. Do you remember how we did French knots? I did French knots for the eyeballs. I'm not the best at those, but I tried. So I got the eyes and I got the scary beak. So I have my little chick basket. And now I know what everyone else was talking about when they said, hey, you know, the, they have it and the head is hollow, right? The head's hollow. And they tell you stuff the head, but you don't like secure it, you know? So you just have stuffing kind of sitting down here and then you put your candy and everything on your stuffing. I don't like that idea either. So I'll probably end up, um, kind of sewing the bottom sewing the bottom of the head to where the stuffing stays inside i'm not sure how i'm going to do it but i'll do that but either way i finished the little chick i had to do something so that goes with my bluebird of happiness my little chicken this one's from jen from um cinnamon stitches so i've got my little chick basket That'll be cute little little trinket things and everything, or just that little something to give the grandkids when Easter comes around again. I got five grandkids, I get plenty of time to make more. So I got this, I got this. And then of course I made the adorable little hat. And you know what? I don't generally wear the little sun hats, but putting this thing, <laughs> but putting this on and seeing it, I think with the hair kind of scrunched up, I think it's really cute. You know, I might, I might actually keep this. I know, I know we give so many things away. I've given so many hats away. I might actually keep this one for me. 
I think it's adorable. You know, so then I got my three projects that I've made that I get to enter into Lori's contest, right? Now, I have just as much of a shot at winning something as everybody else. She puts the stuff on this little random wheel doohickey, presses the button, and then the computer spits out a name. That's how that works. So um, I will have three shots at something. Who knows, right? Uh, ladies, she has not given away all of her uh, Christmas yarn yet. So maybe if I win, I'll get a ball of Christmas yarn. Who knows? I don't know. But I think it's a ton of fun. And she has a very similar style thing for July. She has different content creators that she follows and she really, really enjoys. And looking at their playlist for Christmas stuff, again, it's Christmas in July. Um, if you make something from all of the playlists, not every item, because there's a lot of things on it. I think it's like four or five specific things. I'm not really sure of all the details. I've watched the video multiple times, but you gotta go watch the video. Uh, and uh, you'd automatically be guaranteed to win something. And with Lori, you never know what that's gonna be. Now I'm assuming you're gonna get a ball of yarn, but that is my assumption. And we all know what happens when people assume things, right? That's, yeah, that we don't know. But that's a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to the Christmas in July thing. I'm not gonna lie. I have gone down and searched through all of these uh, playlists that she has linked and there's crocheting and there's knitting. So you got both. So, you know, if you only crochet, awesome, right? If you only knit, we got you. Well, not we, cause I'm not, I didn't do this. She did this, right? But she's got you, she's got you covered. And if you do both, like Elaine O from Penguin O Crafts, Elaine from Penguin O Crafts, last month for June, she made all of them and she's not the only one. She made all the knit options and all the crochet options. Talk about an overachiever going for extra credit. I mean, more power to you. That's awesome. But she also does a lot of craft fairs and sells things. So it's not a bad idea to have things worked up. So I've been going down and looking at that and I'm thinking I'm going to have fun for the Christmas in July. So I'm going to add a few extra things to my videos and I'm just going to tag along. I mean, might as well, right? And see what I can make on her list and see what else I can make that's maybe not on her list, just fun Christmas things. Um, it's not a bad idea to get Christmas things worked up early. And uh, for those that have been following me, you know, I have to make Christmas socks. Now, Christmas socks aren't necessarily Christmas colors. Do I have sparkle Christmas sock yarn? Uh, yeah, of course I do. But it doesn't have to be the Christmas colors. It's any colors, any patterns, any whatever. But my family looks forward to that every year. So much so that my daughter-in-law just sent me a picture of a sock with the heel worn through. I mean, no kidding, absolutely worn through. And that's because they've been loved and worn for a long time. And she asked me if I could fix that. Yeah, it'll be Frankenstein seam of some sort, but yeah, I could I could darn that. I could add some fabric or whatever to the bottom, you know, if that's what she wants, by all means. But uh, that is a coveted gift in my household. And I have commented uh, and I've joked about how I have to ramp up the sock knitting. I have started one pair of socks this year. It's not done. No, just, just, just one. I give out about 10 pair every year, every year. And I do this to myself every time. You would think at this point, I would be smarter. I mean, well, don't they say with age comes wisdom, right? Um, I'm up there in age, right? I'm not over the hill, but I'm, I'm up there in age. I remember a coworker had commented a while back, this was years ago, I'm not gonna lie, this was years ago, and called me middle-aged. Talk about wanting to smack somebody. I'm like, what? I was insulted. And then I did my age times two and went, oh, hmm. Yeah, we won't go there. You know where I'm getting at. You, you, you get it. Times your age by two and you're like, oh. Oh. What's the average expectancy? Oh. Yeah. I realized I couldn't really be mad, you know? A little irritated. Like, how dare you? <laughs> but... But anyway, with age comes wisdom. We get that. Well, the wisdom would be, hey, woman, if you are giving out at least 10 pair of socks a year, maybe 
you should strive to make a pair a month and take off a month, whatever, you know, maybe not be so stressed in December, but have them all done. Take off January because you're exhausted. Take off December because you're doing every other project to try to get it done because you decided in November you were going to give everyone you know something handmade, right? You know, we, we do stupid stuff like that. Yes. So take off December because, well, you're working on all the things that you thought you could get done in November and take off January because, oh my gosh, you are absolutely exhausted and then get back up on it. That would be smart. Did I mention that I've started one pair of socks so far and I haven't finished them? Yeah, so evidently I am not that smart. I just talk a good game. So it is that time for me to ramp up sock knitting on top of everything else. So I think this is gonna be fun for me. Uh, July is gonna be absolutely amazing. Christmas in July might as well. I can play along with that. I can do some things. Um, I could play along with Lori's Christmas in July, make some stuff. I could do something, right? And I can try to get some things done for the family for Christmas in July. I think I'm gonna piggyback. I'm going to take this opportunity and I'm gonna run with it. But you know what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this up. This is what I'm not gonna do. Let me see. Let me see if I can find that page, that, that awful page. I have a page, I have a page. I wrote some things on a page. I'm not doing that again. There's a stuff, oh yeah. May goals for my crafting. Let me see. Did I did I do a single one? Mm. Uh, finish my orange purple base blanket. These are my goals for May. This, I'm not doing that again. No, no, I did not do that. I did not finish it. The orange and purple blanket is sewn together. Do I have all the embellishments on it? No. And until I do, I don't consider it done because I want to make it fancier. Is it a done blanket? that somebody would enjoy? Yes, yes it is. It's it's in that aspect, it is done. Is it done in my mind? No, okay, so I have not done that. Uh, trim the yellow and black base blanket. I just did that. So that one is all trim. It's not embellished, but it is all trimmed. So that one, I just finished. Mind you, these are my goals. I just finished that. I rebelled hardcore. I wrote these things down and it's like, I'm not doing nothing, you can't make me. And the sad part is, I'm the one that wrote the list. So who am I rebelling against? It's the weirdest thing. It's like, you don't own me. You know, I just, you know, I cut like these two sides and they don't talk to each other. They just talk at each other. That's why I talk to you guys because, you know, otherwise I'm just talking to myself. So I'd rather talk to you. Uh, let's see. My granddaughter's sweater. No. No. Did you remember what it looks like? Do, do, do you remember? Do I remember how to make it? No. No, I don't. It is color work. Look at that. There's, there's color work on that. Do you see the pattern? Yeah. Do I remember? Mm, no. I didn't pull it out of the bag. There, that's the first time I pulled it out of the bag. That's it. Okay. I tell you, I got a rebellious streak. Let's see what else. Oh, my husband's sweater. Yeah. It is done, but it's not done for him. So I need to pull it out and make it for him. So then it won't be done. Yeah, there you go. Finish his blanket. His blanket is a lot larger. He is uh, six foot one and it goes up to here on him, you know, so it does, you know, from the floor to here, but we want it longer, right? And I've got plenty of yarn. So there you go. Now, it is really, really hot and working with a wool acrylic blanket is not my favorite thing to work on right now because it's a bit warm. Okay, let's see. Oh, my sweater. Yeah. I see them. Yeah. Okay, what else? Uh, my car project. Yes. Yes. I did that. I just finished that. Well, I did I finish that in May. I actually finished that one in May. That is my granddaughter's sweater dress that you saw in yesterday's uh, video where it's from the, and also my community, uh, community page. I have a picture of her. You can see her from behind, you know, just there in, in, her, in her dress because, you know, I just don't want to put her face on the internet. She's really cute. Trust me. She's really cute. I might be biased. She's my granddaughter. She's adorable. So I did finish that. And this one. This is my granddaughter's, my other granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter, her Nubblekin. So these two things I finished. So yeah, I, um, I'm not going to do that again. So I'm going to do Christmas in July. And I've got lots of things in my head. and They're going to stay there. I'm not writing them down. I'm not putting them on this little planner and saying, I will do these things. No, I'll track the things that I've done. But this planner doesn't own me. And this is pretty obvious because 
that is my May goals. I had some lofty goals and then immediately, oh my gosh, I immediately said, I'm not doing that. Nuh-uh. Can't make me. And I didn't. So um, I have a really rebellious streak. I don't know. Uh, maybe I just don't like to follow rules. Which is really funny because if you're new here, I did serve 27 years in the military. I kind of had to follow a rule or two. If you know anything about the military, yes. Maybe that's why I'm rebelling so hardcore. I That could be it. Anyway, that's what I did. Here's my my feel good project because I wanted to feel like I accomplished something. I wanted something. I know it's ugly. I get it. I know the little beak looks like it could bite you, you know? It's like, it's vicious. Look at that. It's like angry, vicious. Yeah. But uh, I finished it. Yeah. So I have myself, I have my sense of accomplishment. I did something. And sometimes we need that in life. And this is it today. This is my sense of accomplishment. After my over double car commute. Yeah. Yeah. Over, over double car commute and coming home and pulling out all the progress that I'd made, uh, that I wrote down. Cause I actually wrote that down. All the progress that I made on my shawl, I had to have a you did good. It's okay. You did good. So that's my ugly little chick. I did good. Yeah. And my ugly little chick. There you go. <laughs> so hopefully you're having more fun with your crafts and you're getting more progress done than I did. Um, out of the last two days, that's literally all I have. I worked on a lot more, but I had to pull it out. So it's okay. It's, you know, I'm going to be crafting anyway. Might as well. It'd be nice if I could show off a little bit more, but I had to pull it out. Well, that is it for today. I hope you enjoy this and coming back and talking and being part of my life and my crafting journey and escapades and everything else that is going on because I really enjoy coming on and saying, hi, how you guys doing? Hi, want to talk about yarn? Yeah, that's, that's what I like to do. It's 100% what I like to do. With that, I'm gonna let you guys go. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.